With Kyle Rudolph being cut, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings had a need at tight end head into the draft. And also, even though they brought back Skullquit, he was kind of booty last year punting. So tight end, punter, both needs. Why not both in one player? Enter Zach Davidson, the pride of the Central Missouri Mules, the best tight end punter in NFL draft history. Oh, by the way, if the Patriots did this, everyone would be like, oh, rah, 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 rah. genius move. It's so beautiful. But since the Vikings did it, it's like, ah, what a bunch of a-holes. Look at these idiots out here. But mm, let's talk about Zach Davidson, pick 168 in the fifth round today. Background, six foot six, 245. Redshirt senior from Webb City, Missouri. Was a three-year starter for the Mules, a tight end and punting 2019 blew up racked up 40 catches 894 yards receiving 15 touchdowns first team all-american by the way kyle hinton formerly of washburn university go ichabods in the same conference as central mizzou attested to david's awesomeness so if kyle big hinton hinton says he's good i believe it also has a career 42.4 yards per punt which is amazing dude has a stroke pro day wow Blew it up 9.88 out of 10 on the relative athletic score scale, 4.6440, phenomenal in agility, had redonkulous 37 and a half inch vert. Now, is he going to punt in the NFL? Probably not, but it is kind of funny. But athletically as a tight end, he's got a lot of work to do. But Kid is a freak, man. And I think that he is going to be a practice squad candidate. I think there is a lot of refinement that needs to be added into his game. And the Vikings could still sign a veteran inline blocking tight end because they don't really have one on the roster. All four guys currently, Ursma Jr., Tyler Gronklin, and Brandon Dillon, the Marion Barbarian, and Davidson, are all more move F joker tight ends, whatever you want to call it. But I'm pretty excited. Like we, we have a long-standing history of always rooting for the Vikings' backup tight ends, and I think that Davidson is a better athlete than Brandon Dillon. I think that he has better upside at this point. And hell, two, three years from now, could Davidson be the tight end two behind all-pro Smith Jr. and just that guy who gets on the field and Fs things up? Or do you put him at H-back? Where do you put him in the slot? Where do you put him out wide? Just go up and get it with those power four basketball skills? And, and then maybe, I don't know, maybe he punts just for fun. Just for the LOLs. It's hilarious, man. But welcome to the team, Zach Davidson, the best tight end slash punter in National Football League history. Mm. But your thoughts, Zach Davidson. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.